Lie number nine is that leadership is a thing. By which we mean, of course, that if you want to be a leader, the message that you get, and in the US alone, it's a $15 billion industry message. If you want to be a leader, you have to go and acquire this thing, learn this thing called leadership. Once you've got leadership inside you, then you can be a leader. And what does this thing called leadership look like? Well, it varies company by company, but, but most every company has, has taken a view of leadership, which is that we can define it through a list of competencies or attributes that every leader should have. And maybe we've studied our own good leaders as a group, and we've derived this list, or maybe we've just gone to a competency library and then plucked from this library a list of competencies that every leader should have. But, but our view of leadership is that it's definable in advance. Independent of the leader who's doing the leading, it's definable as a series of or a list of abstract competencies or traits like strategic thinking, all leaders should have that, business acumen, goal orientation, um, vision. All of these things are supposedly the, the competencies that all good leaders have and which comprise leadership. And yet, if you look at the real world, you go away from the abstract. If you look at the real world of actual leaders doing actual work with actual followers, the first thing that strikes you is just how different they are from one another. You look at any particular leader in your company right now, and you compare that leader to the list of competencies that every leader is supposed to have, you'll see every leader you know is lacking some of these. Even the very best leaders that you can think of in your career don't have every one of these competencies. Now, as a group, you take all the best leaders in your company and as a group you look at their behaviors or their competencies. Probably as a group they've got all of them. But just because as a group they've got all of them, that doesn't mean that any one leader should have all of them. Nor does it necessarily mean that those leaders who acquire the ones they don't have and thereby become the most well-rounded leader, outperform those leaders who don't acquire the ones they don't have. When we really look at individual leader after individual leader, what we see is that they are different. The only thing the best leaders share, actually, is that they have followers. The only thing they seem to have in common is they've somehow managed to do something that has created in a whole bunch of people a willingness to give my breath to you. Somehow they've done something that makes me feel like the uncertainty around the corner in the future is going to be better than the certainty of today. Somehow the best leaders have been able to give me the confidence to follow them around the corner into the uncertainty of the future. I'm the follower. I've got that confidence. I'm walking behind her or behind him into that future. So yes, the best leaders all create in me and other followers like me this sense of confidence that trumps the uncertainty of the future. They do all have that in common. But it seems like the way in which they do that the way in which they give me that sense of, yes, I can walk around the corner with you, is different. It varies leader by leader by leader by leader. Which means there's no such thing as leadership that we can define in isolation and abstraction and independent of the leader, him or herself. There's no such thing as leadership. There are leaders and there are followers. And when you look at the leaders, each one of them seems to be doing it in a slightly but importantly different way. If you want to learn about what that way is, what is the secret that all the best leaders do seem to share, then go to the Free Thinking Leader Coalition and dive into truth number nine, or you can read chapter nine where we dive into it in some detail so that you can uncover what that is that they share and how you can incorporate it into your own life as a leader.